Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. Uh, the problem reads uh, if uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the 50 kg crate and the ground is mu k equal to 0.3, determine the distance the crate travels and this velocity when t is equal to 30 seconds. The crate starts from rest and p is equal to 200 newtons. We are just going to solve the first problem, we'll solve the next one in the next video. Both problems are coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RSC Bella. So let's begin. So we have case one here, which is just a tin dash string. And uh, here we are. So what do we have? Um, let's draw the free body diagram as well as the kinetic diagram. So we are going to have two components here. We'll have one component like so. We'll have another component like so. And then uh, we are going to have uh, the weight of uh, the box acting through the center of uh, gravity. And then we'll have, let's say, these are just arbitrary positions. We have the normal force, uh, the reaction from um, vertical com components, the reaction from uh, the surface. And then we have uh, this particular force opposing the motion, which is our friction. And this friction is kinetic friction because. Uh, this friction will be experienced while the body is uh, in motion. This is uh, our N, this is our W, which is the weight. And uh, this one is our P uh, sine 30. And this is P cos 30. Okay, there we go. Uh, what do we have? So let's start with the vertical. So we have summation of forces in the y. Uh, summation of forces in the y equal to uh, m a y. But we know that the body wants to be moving in the vertical direction. Therefore, our y is just going to be equal to zero. Uh, what do we have here? We have n um, plus p sine 30 uh, minus w equal to 0. Therefore, our n is just going to be equal to w um, minus p sine 30. And we know that our w is just going to be equal to mg, which is equal to 50 uh, times 9.81. And our p is just equal to 200 right neutrons let me write down here the kinetic diagram there we go so we we'll have something like so all right i have something like so okay there we go and this is our m a all right so plugging in all those values in there we will have our normal force equal to that's 50 by 9.81 minus uh, 200 sine 30 so this gives us a 390.5 newtons so we have our n therefore we can say uh, summation of forces in the x direction equal to max and we have here we have p uh, cos 30 uh, minus F sub K equal to M A equal to M A M A X right so our P is just 200 uh, cos 30 uh, minus mu K our K that one is 0.3 uh, times N which is 319 uh, 0.5 because we know that our fk is equal to mu k times n right so this is just going to be equal to 15 which is the mass times ax therefore our ax let's write down our ax so we have 200 uh, cos 13 uh, minus 0.3 by 319.5 divided by 15 so we have 1.12 1 
okay one one meters a second square so we have that uh, let's quickly work out the other problem which is uh, now finding the equations that will help us find the distance and the velocity so we know from kinematics that um, our v uh, our start with velocity our a is just equal to uh, dv uh, dt so writing this we just have dv like so then a dt all right so we are integrating this from zero they are starting from rest so it means our v naught is zero to v and then our t also at the start point is zero then to t okay so this therefore just becomes p is just equal to uh, a uh, t okay and in our case here uh, our v therefore is just going to be equal to 1.1211 t this is the equation for our t i mean for v okay which is a function of time so it's important especially if you want to use it to write it in terms of uh, variables right okay so v therefore at t equal to um, uh, three seconds is just going to be equal to 1.1211 times three okay therefore v at t equal to three seconds this is just going to be equal to uh, by three of course this just becomes a 3.36 uh, meters per second we are also being asked to find the distance so we know to say velocity is um and this is in the x okay and this is in the x okay all right so let me just indicate the direction and this is in this direction like so okay let's move on so we know that our velocity is equal to ds dt which we can write as ds equal to uh, v dt integrating from zero is starting from rest now s naught is zero to s and then uh, from zero time to t okay so this just becomes uh, s itself is equal to integral from zero to t of our v okay and our v we found it to be 1.1211 1 t okay the t therefore which just becomes a 1 1 1 uh, t squared divided by 2 so our sx at t equal to uh, 3 seconds this just becomes equal to uh, 1.1211 times 3 squared right divided by 2 so this just becomes a 5.04 meters okay i think this is about it we can outline the final solutions let me just show the directions also direction is in that it's going to be in that direction like so okay so we have our velocity there we have our velocity and then we have our um, our uh, the distance that a car travels okay in that particular direction so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see my next uh, screencast